Hi, this is Toby of Our Data Solution. Welcome to our screencast for Logos 5, the Community Edition. This is a great edition to use if you just want to search your database, show some records. It's a free version, so we'll go through and show you how to use it. The first thing we want to look at is the connection and the data. The data that we'll be querying, the fields that we'll be examining. When we installed Logos, we already got a system database that contains a list of all the fields, of the tables in the database we'll go ahead and use our dealerships table. This is in the database already. And when you save this selection, it'll come back with a list of fields in the database. Here, we can configure the fields and their attributes. For example, we'll call this dealership ID, give it a more specific name. And we can also change the titles for other fields. Again, this is not affecting the database, but this is affecting how the user will interact with the database on the website. There's other things we can do here as well. For example, instead of a standard search box, we can have the user select a value from a list of existing records. And for our forms where you could add data, we'll choose a list but based on data contained in a file. For example, this countries file that we have, which contains a list of all the countries and the user can select which one they want. Again, for categories, although this time we're gonna choose a different file, we're going to choose the retail file that contains a number of codes. Finally, we don't want to search for this published field, so we're going to take that one off. Now that we're done, we can save these changes and move on to creating our application. Now an application is what you're going to use to have all the forms and reports. We have the default application that's get, that gets created when you install logos, but we'll go ahead and create a new one for our dealership application. Let's call that dealerships here. I have a lot of applications with a similar name now, and we'll select our dealership database as the data source. Let's go ahead, save these changes. Now let's go ahead and create our actions. These are the things that actually do the work for us. We'll use the logos wizard to create a dealership search and a dealership details query. In the community edition, these are the two types of actions that you can create. We've made those actions, and now let's, while we're here, let's go and change a few things. I want to change the theme. I also want to select our language file for countries so that on the front end we'll have some translation of those language codes. So our application is done, and it took us about three minutes. Let's hop over to the front of the website and see what it looks like. We've made this menu item already, so we'll just go over click that, select our dealership form, and we'll just search for some dealerships. You can imagine these are your users. They want to find information about one of your dealerships. Maybe it's a sports shop. There's actually a lot of different ways that you can configure logos to work. Different ways of searching, different ways of displaying results, shaping and formatting those results. And I hope that you can explore some of these options with the community edition of Logos 5.